Hey everybody, and welcome to my N5 series on the SP404 Mark II, where we cover a topic in about five minutes. For this session, I want to talk about using USB-C with kind of what we just discussed in the previous video for mixing. So if you remember, we set this setup, the OP1 field is plugged into the back through line in. The OP1 is plugged in through the mic and guitar input, and I had skipped USB-C because there's a little bit of a problem with it, at least on the iPad. I don't have any Android devices to test with, but on the iPad, the problem is I can play whatever I want over USB-C. It's going nicely, quite nicely into the SP404 Mark II, but I got my volume buttons here. I can't adjust the volume at all. So if I don't like how this sits in the mix for the volume, I don't have a way on the SP404 Mark II to decrease the input of just the USB-C, even though I do have a way to kind of adjust it for you know the samples in here, the OP1 field and the OP1, I can do it with the volume knobs. So if you have this problem and you wanna use USB-C, let me just pop out here. Um, I'm gonna go into Audio Bus 3. And the reason why I'm doing this is Audio Bus 3 is a good way to take audio. So I'm going to go back to module pro. We're going to load it up and we got a piano. Sounds perfectly fine. If we want to get back out of here, one of the things we could do is we go to the mixer and we can actually adjust the volume down. Now maybe I went too low. You can probably barely hear that, but go up. So you're gonna to want to consider having a app if you're using the, especially if you're on an iPad, you're gonna want something like Audio Bus Pro or Audio Bus 3 or AUM. And you can do the same thing with AUM. It also has a mixer. We just grab in, we go audio, and we can drop in a audio unit extension. Let's go back for Chord Module Pro. Get that loaded. Takes a second, but you can see here, mm, where did the keyboard go? <laughs> I don't use AUM usually, but the important part is you can see here, we've got the app loaded and you can adjust the volume here for what's going out over USB uh, one plus one. So channel one and two, we can adjust that up and down. Now, the this will help you with all, all of that fun stuff. If you decide that you want to use a app like YouTube or something though, it's going to be outputting at full volume and that can be problematic. So usually that's where I would, instead of using USB-C, I would use the USB-C to the line out device. That'll make it so that you get audio levels and then you can adjust them normally with your volume up and down. If folks have any experience with this on Android, drop them in the comments because I'd be very interested to learn more um, and kind of get a sense for what you guys are doing or how it's working over there. Anyway, guys, thanks for stopping by. Keep making music. Keep having fun. Remember, if it sounds good, it is good. And peace.